from X. So, this is a bit more of a distilled version of Lauren's uh, comeback story, as well as uh, some of the information she included in that recent article from Unheard that initially led me to comment on this today. Her coming back and reaccusing her husband. Basically, she's trying to make herself relevant again by claiming to be a victim. The people are attacking her and attacking her image and her trad con credentials. Well, this is a when she came back, right? Uh, about a year ago. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's much more distilled. Uh, it's a lot shorter, so let's get into it. So, from Lauren Southern. Okay, it's taken me years to address this, but I'm finally in a good enough space mentally and spiritually to do so. Automatically, I question her TradCon credentials when she uses the word spiritually. Anybody out there ever heard me use the word spiritually? Yeah, what you're reading now is a summary of an approximately hour-long video that I will link below. Yeah. That's why I'm reading it. This is summarized. Yeah. She gets to the meat of it. Ah, she's very good at saying a lot, but actually saying very little. My life has been utterly bad, s insane for the past four or five years. Uh -huh. While my online content might seem boring compared to my heyday in 2015, 2018. Yeah, you want to go back to that time, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Where you were sleeping with every other dude you could find. Allegedly! Where you're very promiscuous and uh, banging destiny. Which is just, wow. <laughs> wow! Yeah, and you were getting so much attention and validation, and now nobody cares about you anymore. My real life has been a fever dream. Uh, yeah. I've been afraid to talk about it for various reasons. Uh-huh, why? What do you mean you've been afraid to talk about it? You, 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 you referenced an hour-long video you made. How is that being afraid to talk about it? You made tons of videos talking about it. You made tons of articles talking about it. But you're, oh, I've been afraid to talk about it, which is why I'm saying something now, because I'm safe to talk about it, even though I've been talking about it for the past year plus. <laughs> Almost nonstop. Get out of here. She thinks people are stupid and have no memories. You can tell, you can all tell I've changed. No. You're, you're still the same grifter that you were. You're still a fake. You're still a phrony. You're still a fraud, in my view, anyway. Maybe people out there have a different view. Uh, but no, you haven't changed at all. You're right. What you may not know is why. And I think the final phase of healing... This is feminist talk. I'm healing! Yeah. Very nebulous term. Is creating some... Well, you know as are her charges of abuse against her former husband, if he existed. Uh, phase of healing is creating some congruence between my private and public life by telling you. Oh, yeah. You've been telling us for a year! She's just begging for attention, isn't she? So, anyway, you all know that I've been the object of extreme scrutiny by multiple governments. Uh -huh. Not lately, you haven't. <laughs> You're a has-been, honey. I should have known my sanity was suffering when the interrogations, nationwide bans, and confinement almost became background noise for me. Confinement? What confinement? Well, I had a baby! And my husband didn't support my choice to go out and be a career woman so that a nanny could take care of her kids. So now I feel like a prisoner in my own house because of my kid. <laughs> You're so traditional! However, what I didn't realize was, realize was that, well, she's not. You're not conservative either, by the way. What I didn't realize was that it would get weirder outside of politics than in. Any evidence? No. No evidence for that claim. I might as well just jump in and say this, despite being treated like an international fugitive. By who? Well, once I was treated that way, so now I'm always in that, you know, Identification. I'm, all, I'm always identified. I'm always going to be an international fugitive. Yeah. I married someone who worked in a capacity for the feds. Yeah, I know. Meme away. What feds? I don't want to get too specific. Yeah, I bet you don't. Truth is, we didn't meet when he was on duty. In fact, 
he was on a hiatus when we started dating, and the kind of work I did was outside his purview. <sighs> Notice the way she says he works for the feds. That's a kind of a derisive term, isn't it? He's a fed. Doesn't sound like he had very much uh, respect for his career. Also, we genuinely did deeply care for one another. Not if she didn't say love. We deeply cared for one another. Yeah. She couldn't quite bring herself to be disingenuous enough to claim love. <laughs> and if anything, our lives were just made to live a nightmare due to the unorthodox pairing of an activist with someone who required a security clearance for work. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean? Uh, 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 unorthodox pairing. You're talking like it was a, an arranged marriage. Yo, sweetheart, you chose this guy. Who pairs you up? Why don't you take some responsibility, huh? And if it's an unorthodox pairing, why did you pair with them? We really felt we could pull off the Romeo and Juliet thing. Didn't they die at the end of that movie? <laughs> at the end of that play? <laughs> that didn't turn out too good. And he had sworn he was willing to give it uh, all up for me as I was for him. Wait, 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 wait. I don't believe that for a second. How could he give it all up for you? Wait, 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 wait. If Wait, wait, wait. You are... Well, okay, hold on. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. Now, she claimed elsewhere that she did her darndest to be a stay-at-home mom. She had a kid, but you chose to have a kid, didn't you? What do you mean... He would give it up for you. You expected him to stay home and take care of the kid while you went out and worked? That's the only inference I can make. Because if you flip it around, it would be you staying at home at work and him, so you giving it all up for him and him going out and working, which is what you were trying to do. That's the path you were pursuing. So obviously you made a choice for you to be the one to give all your career stuff up to raise the kid that you chose to have. And now you're saying things didn't work out because you regretted giving up your activist online social media persona slash career, i.e. the feels and the validation of strangers that you valued more than your kid and your husband. Got it. Let's continue. So, you can believe me when I say I didn't marry him for his job. Uh, but later on you did because you had a kid and you agreed to be the stay-at-home mom. Yeah. So. Or for money, I was a threat to his ability to keep both. R why, why were you a threat? because you weren't content in your role as a stay-at-home mom and you wanted to continue being an activist and a political commentator about right-wing issues in a left-wing country. <laughs> so you really weren't willing to give it all up for him. And I'm not so shallow that I'd marry a man for looks. Mm, okay, well, that might be true. I mean, supposedly she did uh, cheat on her husband with destiny. <laughs> we'll get to that later. Uh, but there was infidelity there, which probably had uh, more of a role to play in him dumping her than anything else. I mean, have you seen the goblin that's destiny? Imagine how affronted you would be if your wife slept with that, chose that over you, <laughs> and your kid. Holy crap! Uh, uh, I married him because I was in love. Oh, but you didn't love him. I was in love. Yeah dominated by feelings, but you didn't love it. And we shared the same values. No, you didn't. Just listen to you, you didn't share the same values. Catholic and conservative. You're not a real Catholic. You're not a real Christian. Get the hell out of here with aspirations toward marriage and family. <laughs> but unfortunately, we did not, after we did settle into a more mundane routine, the reality of losing his life's work became too much for him. Uh, why, why, why would he be losing his life's work? Because you wanted to have your cake and eat it too. You wanted to be a crappy mother and have a career because you can't be a good mother and have a full-time career because you got a full-time career. You're spending 40, 50, 60 hours away from your kid. So you're not doing that job very well, but you're proclaiming that you share the same values, which means you value marriage and family. And I'm assuming if you value those things, you value them above other things. Apparently not. So you're lying. 
Although he was able to return back to something resembling his old work, which you obviously agreed to because you had a kid with him. And who was going to take care of it? Air? Ghosts? What do you have to do it? Eventually, his security clearance was downgraded due to being married to me. No, 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 no. His security clearance wasn't downgraded because he was married to you. She's leaving some things out. She also continued to make content. She continued to make content, continued to be a firebrand, continued to be a disagreeable, continued to want to have her cake and eat it too, continued to put herself out there and be an activist, and that's what got his security clearance downgraded, honey. But the way she talks, it's like, oh, it just, it just, it just happened. It was not, I didn't do nothing. Yeah. His access to certain jobs and promotions was limited, if not revoked. And yet he is adhering to his gender role as a man and bringing home the bacon. And you are endangering that. And ultimately, you are hamstringing his ability to make a living. And, but that's his fault? <laughs> He didn't want to give up his job and stay home and take care of the baby while I went home and brought home the bacon. Even though I am a very conservative woman. <laughs> conservative feminist, maybe. Uh, adhering to feminist ideals, for sure. Going from living a James Bond lifestyle. Yeah. So, of course, he can't come forward and rebut any of this. To being reduced to a boring middle manager with little to no upward mobility is crippling for ambitious men. Yeah. But it, it, was, it wasn't my fault. I wasn't doing anything in the here and now that damaged his career. No, you were. You're leaving that part out. I'm not saying it's okay, but it is human. He took his resentment for this out on me, which I understand. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't believe this. I, I want to hear his side. I want to hear his side. Oh, we never will, because then he would get downgraded some more. <laughs> he can't make himself. He can't put himself out there in public or speak to this, or it would damage his career further. How convenient for her. I feel because he accepted the risk involved. Didn't you too? Didn't you accept that you might have to give up your career if you're going to have a child? No, she did not. I'm a woman. Uh, I get to have my cake and eat it too. He would never leave our marriage citing career reasons, but he did eventually find a variety of lesser reasons to propose divorce. Right. Yeah, yeah. His final one being my ADHD. That's not a real thing. Okay. The dude was looking for an out. You're driving him nuts. You're driving him crazy. The dude's driving away. He's getting into huge fights. You're a very disagreeable woman. Uh, you know, you're making his life difficult. You're ruining his career. You're having, uh, 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 you know, arguments with him constantly. He's leaving for days on end. Guys don't leave for days on end uh, for no reason. Of course, he was looking for a re an out at that point. When I say there was truly no deeper complaint, I mean it. There was, okay? He just didn't want to get into, uh, get into it with you anymore, all right? He'd had enough. It was always very vague with all who heard it equally perplexed. Uh, could you name these people? No. So phantom people were perplexed, just like her. Yeah. By what steps could even be taken? Uh-huh. Yeah, ad populum fallacy there. A whole bunch of other people were also perplexed. Can you name them? Nah. I suppose if you don't wish to stay married, picking something someone cannot change about themselves is a surefire way to do it. Right. No, 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 no. He, he, he wants to be married, just not to you. But, of course, that, that possibility never entered her mind because, you know, she has such a high opinion of herself. She's so great, so wonderful, right? Although I certainly did try, as I can sympathize, with the frustration of dealing with an ADHD partner in any, any scenario. ADHD is not a real thing. Fake illness created to sell drugs. I spent nearly all day cleaning, cooking, caring for a child, laundry, ironing, whatever I could do to help. Right. You're not mentioning what other things you did, like being argumentative, combative, and undergoing activism, and your online social media presence continuing to be a thing, which got his security clearance downgraded. You're not bringing that up, are you? Yeah, of course not. That's her fault. I even split bills until my bank account was empty. Uh-huh. All right. Well, that was your choice. But one of Betty didn't demand that of you. Guy sounds extremely conservative. That was just you uh, trying to make things better in what ways you thought you could. Meanwhile, you continue to be your same disagreeable, dominant self that wanted to be an equal partner in the relationship. Yeah. While no one is perfect, I don't <laughs> you haven't said anything about yourself that calls your behavior into play. It's all about him. You've you placed all the blame on him. I truly don't think I ever worked so hard at anything in my life as being a good wife. 
I don't believe that for a second. You did everything you could to undermine his career. I also began going to a specialized ADHD clinic. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a bunch of crap. It's not real. Sadly, it did not work. And whether it be genu uh, genuinely due to ADHD or his resentment towards me. Yeah, you don't know. Did you ask him? My husband left me and our child. Uh-huh. So, in one of the most feminist countries on earth, where if a dude divorces his wife, he's going to suffer horrendously, uh, financially speaking. And he loses his kid. She's going to get custody. I mean, you would, he would have to himself be enduring unbelievable suffering to himself initiate divorce. We all know how stilted against men divorce is in Western countries, but he still initiated divorce just to get away from her. Can you imagine how difficult she must have been for him to divorce her? I was devastated. My life as I knew it fell apart in a moment. I would ask anyone reading this not to express hate or judgment. Why not? That doesn't help anyone. Of course it does. What are you talking about? If we don't judge people, they're not going to see the foibles of their ways and change. Just prayer for all involved. Yeah, pray for you to remain the same person that broke up her own marriage because you can't change and live up to your obligations and duties. Gotcha. Sounds like enabling to me. Whether the right decision or not, COVID, work, stress, losing the things you've sacrificed sounds like a bunch of excuses to abdicate yourself of responsibility. You've sacrificed your entire life for not easy for anyone. Wow, this is a long post. Jeez. Good Lord, lady. It's been two years since this happened. If I'm being honest, I nearly lost my mind. You sure you haven't already? I think almost anyone would. I was beyond heartbroken. Even more so when all offers for co-parenting mediation were rejected as involvement with us would complicate his future. Right. He wanted custody. <laughs> So he rejected co-parenting because you're a nut job and he doesn't want to have to deal with you anymore. So he wants sole custody. Why not? What's wrong with that? He's a man. That's the way that she relates this to us, that he's somehow unreasonable. Meanwhile, how often do men get co-parenting situations in Western countries? Almost never. The woman always gets custody, practically. Oh, but that's okay. But if he expects to get full custody, how dare he... To this day, I receive no alimony, child support, or anything like that. Well, that's your fault. You could have hired a lawyer and uh, got all of those things. Despite what she claims about having an empty bank account, I don't buy it. I could have pushed harder for it initially. Yeah, you probably didn't push at all, so you could claim to be a victim more. But while uh, still hoping he would return, I certainly didn't have it in me to fight over money. That's too bad. You would have gotten a ton, and probably the house, too. <laughs> but of course now you can rely on your simps to give you money for the first seven months after he left I lived with my parents during which my mental health was as shot as my savings I thought these parents were so supportive and wonderful and traditionally conservative they should be there for you I was in severe denial so I kept wearing my ring and speaking about my husband as if he was still a part of my life my brain was honestly broken <laughs> But I didn't have the luxury of licking my wounds. My son was depending on me. Oh, you're so strong. Yeah. If not for my friends, including my, uh, uh, including very few in the political world who knew this story, I don't know what I would have done. I particularly want to thank Evelyn Ray, who was with me through every step of this all, whether I was in Australia or Canada. When I eventually moved out of my parents' house, I ended up in a cabin in a trailer park. Okay, see, it's just a single mommy failure. <laughs> Sounds very feminist. It was unconventional, but surprisingly the first step of what would become a beautiful healing journey. So her parents kicked her out. Parents kicked her out. They got tired of her, <laughs> just like her husband. <laughs> I'm reading between the lines here, but uh, ain't no way she's moving out where she's getting free rent, Free food, uh, grandpa, grandpa, babysitters. No, they kicked her out. They said, you got to go. Got to go. <laughs> Even her own parents can't tolerate her. 
Because despite living in a cabin infested with ants, you should be a little more cleanly. We have taps that only gave non-drinkable dirt water. Is there a stream nearby? Uh, and my cabin being the communal trailer park, washer, and dryer, since no one else had one. What are, what are you talking about? Wait, 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 wait. Let me get this straight. You had a washer and dryer. Were they public use or were they in your house and you allowed your neighbors to come in and use them? Why were you doing that? Are you stupid? Tell them to go off themselves. Go buy your own washer dryer. Go, go go, to the laundromat in town. So she says she let her neighbors in to wash their clothes in her house. Did they pay you to do that? Was she that broke? I, I don't buy it. I, I don't buy it. I want cooperation for this. <laughs> Maybe they helped her by watching her kid while she went out and gallivanted around looking for another dude or uh, uh, gallivanting so she could heal her wounds because we know how women heal. After a failed marriage, don't we now? Yeah. Uh, since someone else had one, uh, I found family among the others living there. They gave my son and me what we desperately needed. Community, role models, unconditional kindness and love. Okay, so she let them use her washer and dryer in exchange for free babysitting services. Yeah, because she's not up to the task of being a real mother. Gotcha. Believe me when I say those days rednecking it. Notice the way she portrays her neighbors, calling them rednecks lovely. She's not uh, intolerable or insufferable at all, I'm sure. No, no, no. Rednecking it up in the woods were some of the happiest of my life. Then what are you complaining for? <laughs> Every stereotypical idea of trailer park residents was shattered for me, and yet you still call them rednecks. These were some of the kindest, most dignified individuals I'd met. Any privileged influencers who call the working class lazy only wish they could be so decent. You mean like Destiny, who you slept with? <laughs> who says that very thing about blue-collar workers? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who you slept with so you could get uh, uh, social media clout. <laughs> I met children living in cars with more manners than any prep kid I'd ever met. Yeah, okay. I don't live there anymore. Uh-huh. Eventually, the draw of running water and not waking up to people using your basement as an impromptu cookout spot was too much to resist. Well, why would you let them use your basement in the first place? But to be honest, I often miss it. However, I have also cultivated a new, mixed with the old, and equally beautiful community of people around me for my son to grow with. Yeah, sound like a communist. <laughs> the way she talks. Some of them I grew up with. Some are local church goers. Uh-huh. Yeah. Not real Christians, though, uh, you know, hanging around with a single mommy, but anyway. Some are even former fans who became friends. Oh, who are they now? How interesting. I wonder if any of these so-called fans were men. Did they help you out in any way? Wink, wink. Yeah. And yes, some miraculously are people from media and politics with actual souls. Mm -hmm. Does Stefan Molyneux count among uh, any of those people? I wonder. Thank you all. Truly, what have I learned from all of this? Uh, I would guess nothing. How to better manipulate people to uh, get them to donate to you <laughs> by portraying yourself as more of a victim. Well, on the one hand, I'm extremely black-pilled about politics. Yeah, okay. Especially seeing how powerful and corrupt governments can be from the inside. Oh, yeah. I mean, like the government that broke up your, your family because they were so intolerant of you that they downgraded your husband's security clearance even though you knew that would be the outcome. And he told you that that would be the outcome if you continued to pursue a social media career and continue posting online and continue with your activism, but you did it anyway. <laughs> Showing that you don't really care about him or his career or his aspirations or goals. And that's why he divorced you. Not because you're ADHD which you don't have and it doesn't exist in, to begin with, okay? And knowing that the media, which is supposed to hold them accountable, has been largely reduced to listicles, she likes that word, and performative gaslighting, like most of what you're doing here. And that very much has included me in the past. I've com yeah, yeah, in the present too. I've commented on far too many things I had not lived and got a serious reckoning from reality. Oh, but you're more red-pilled and live now, right? I have grown to realize I am no one's ideological avenging angel, I'm just me. And I don't fit in any neat little political box because life doesn't, whatever that means. I have much love and a good amount of agreement with many of my followers still. Followers, eh, sheeple. Just don't expect anyone 
set of talking points of philosophical outlook to inform my work. Even though that's exactly the case, you are an uber mega liberal femtard. <laughs> However, my skepticism of power isn't going anywhere. Even your own? My very real experiences with hostile governments were simply too traumatic to trust the state again. If you were skeptical of state power and influence, why did you marry a federal law enforcement officer? This, this story makes no sense. <sighs> she's so red-pilled, she's so realistic, she's so critical in thought and uh, rational. This is not because they're taken over by liberals, but they are. Yeah, it's because they've only ever been fronts for sociopaths, like you, <laughs> who will use whatever the moral code de jour is of the day as a way to go on exploiting and deceiving those they're supposed to protect and serve. Yeah, you, that's you. <laughs> You're describing yourself, sweetheart. Talk about projection. I'm only one person, though, and I don't wish to give every moment of my life and mind to that darkness. Uh -huh. Yeah. You should be lauded and, and praised. Yeah, you're so wonderful in your own mind. Instead, I do what I can, where I can. Yeah, I love the humble brag. To make change yeah, for the worse. <laughs> but given what I've experienced and what a behemoth I know we're up against. What are you talking about? What are you up against? The patriarchy! Yeah. <laughs> I've decided the most important things in my life are what's directly around me. Uh-huh. Yeah. Too bad you didn't have that mindset when you were married. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, you, you figured that out now after your husband left you, but you're still not taking any responsibility or ownership or blaming your own selfish desires, your misguided desires to pursue an activist social media career while at the same time being a full-time mother. But that wasn't enough for you to fulfill you. Oh, but it's his fault. <laughs> People I love, nature, actually enjoying the world instead of having so much, enjoying the world, hedonism, instead of having so much hubris. Oh, yeah, I haven't seen that hubris go anywhere. As to think I can change anyone else's decision making or actions except my own. Yet you blame everybody else for your mistakes. <laughs> I've been through a lot of pain, self-inflicted, but most people have, and it's given me far more understanding of this broken world and broken people. Are you sure you're not the one that's broken? And your ideology isn't what's broken? And that's what's broken the world? And not the other way around, although it does become cyclical if it uh, spreads enough. I wouldn't take any of it back for the world. I got the most incredible son out of it. Mm, debatable. I haven't seen this kid yet. <laughs> we'll see how he tests. <laughs> Well, see if she also claims he has ADHD as an excuse for a uh, low IQ. <laughs> Out of it all, in a real depth of soul that I never would have discovered otherwise, God works in mysterious ways, that's for sure. Yeah. Okay, honey. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, yet another way of not taking responsibility. God just works in mysterious ways! Oh, there's no right or no wrong, no good decisions or bad decisions, unless, of course, I want to blame somebody, and then I blame my husband, not me. When it's me and I might get blamed, oh, it's just God works in mysterious ways. Why am I telling you all this? Partially to get it off my chest, but also because I want to take a stand against the unreasonable standards. Uh-huh. You mean the standards people had for you when you claim you were a conservative traditional woman? Mm, I see. That influencers are held too. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. You think it's because you were an influencer or just because you claimed to be something you weren't? <laughs> And you resented that. And maybe, and you still do, and maybe give a few more of them courage to open up. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Be strong and powerful woman, yeah. Far too many people in the world of politics uh, who I know have had their minds colonized by PR campaigns. Uh -huh. Yeah, like you? You sound like a Me too -er. <laughs> Dude, You sound like somebody crying uh, in the Me Too era. I'm a victim! And are now lost and confused when the pitch no longer applies. Ideals are good, but they're called ideals because they're perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and of course, the standards that you were expected to uphold, they're standards of perfection, so you couldn't possibly live up to them, so it's not your fault your marriage failed. I see. Perfe perfection is unattainable for humans. Uh, first of all, perfection is largely subjective. 
So, you know, it'll vary depending on who you're talking to. So I don't know what you mean. She doesn't either, by the way. A farcical sneering over someone's failing to be ideal according to ideological standards only makes our worsening mental health crisis worse. Well, it certainly makes women's mental health crisis worse. Something you don't seem to care too much about. I haven't heard you mention it once. Except about yourself. <laughs> but when it comes to excusing your behavior, it's a collective social problem. It's not my ideology or worldview. Oh, no. And on that note, I just want to say, if anyone else feels their life has completely fallen apart as mine did, know this. There's light at the end of the tunnel. Of course, it's not your fault. And if you choose to see it, yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. It may just come in unexpected ways as mine did. I truly feel blessed beyond belief by a life I have lived. Uh, yeah, you still got your son, by the way. How often does your uh, husband see your kid? Yeah. Oh, but she's a... Shouldn't she be fighting for her husband to see her kid? Somehow she's a traditional conservative. Okay. All right, thanks for listening to my weird ranters. Appreciate you all immensely. So there you go. There you go. So what do you think of uh, Lauren Southern, eh? she the real deal? Is she the traditional conservative or is she as traditionally conservative as a woman can be because tradcon relationships don't actually work? So nothing a woman could do would make them work, even though there's plenty of women out there making them work and who are very happy in those relationships, leaning into their submissive role. But somehow it doesn't work. And the problem is tradcon relationships and ideals and views and not her. She's perfect, even though she, you know, makes that caveat. Nobody's perfect! Meanwhile, I didn't hear anything here that was her taking responsibility. It was all blamed on her husband and uh, false ideological views of the world and uh, nothing about her personally being responsible but somehow somehow she's a red-pilled woman yeah well let me know what you think in the comment section and please like and subscribe to my youtube channel if you have not already give me a big thumbs up leave a comment in the comment section and on that note i'm out of here take care